Hi everyone, Riley Gaines here. As a college swimmer, I went up against some of the best female athletes in the world. But not long ago, it became okay for biological men to compete against women in swimming. This made it much harder for hardworking female competitors such as myself to succeed. I found that most competitors are too scared to speak out against them. Okay, this is just immature. And it's honestly extremely yeah. disrespectful. Alright guys, so we got to talk about a hero, or shall I say a heroine, okay, because that's what this girl is, and the heroine that I'm talking about here today is Miss Riley Gaines, who if you guys are not familiar with her, uh, she is the NCAA swimmer from Kentucky, who was brave enough to speak out against Leah Thomas, who basically dominated women in swimming in the NCAA, uh, as a transgender athlete, okay, as a biological male. Now, Miss um, Riley Gaines has put aside her own personal aspirations and her own career to pursue activism, right? Actual, legitimate, and warranted activism to save women's sports, okay? And she's been doing all types of events at universities around the country as a part of her activism and her mission to save women's sports. So not only is she trying to save women's sports, she on a mission to do that, along the way, she's also embarrassing woke academics and some of these woke revolutionaries that woke that work at these universities who don't necessarily like the fact that she's coming to campus to promote saving women's sports. Like for example, uh, just a few days ago, a story came out about how a Tennessee uh, library director was fired after verbally abusing um, her and another actor who uh, was there on campus to film a promotional video. Okay, they had booked the library, uh, they had every right to be there, and while filming, um, staff okay at this library were disrupting them trying to film their content. Hi everyone, Riley Gaines here. As a college swimmer, I went up against some of the best female athletes in the world. But not long ago, it became okay for biological men to compete against women in swimming. This made it much harder for hardworking female competitors such as myself to succeed. I found that most competitors are too scared to speak out against them. Okay, this is just immature. And it's honestly extremely yeah. disrespectful. That is. Like, you guys are old enough to know that that is, like, extremely disrespectful. Yes. Like, to slam your feet or books or whatever on the ground, that's pretty ridiculous. We have 60 more seconds, and that's all that we have of you guys. And it would be made quicker if we weren't slamming books and slamming our feet. I, I want to. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. Uh, Miss Riley Gaines was there to simply uh, film a promotional video, something that she had every right to do because it was something that was already agreed upon. Uh, but, you know, the woke librarian had a problem with it and decided to immaturely in interrupt her while she's trying to film. Now, that library director was fired, right? He was fired, okay? Lost his job, ruined his career. Now, again, this is not the only woke revolutionary that works at a university uh, that Riley Gaines has ruined their careers <laughs> uh, because there's another video going viral of Miss Riley Gaines uh, talking to an anthropologist, okay, at an event in which she asked the anthropologist about anthropology in regards to gender, right? The difference between men and women and how can you tell the difference? And uh, the anthropologist's answer to this question uh, calls him to get absolutely laughed <laughs> basically out the room um, because of his response to this question and him trying to adhere to woke ideology rather than actual science, right? And adhering to the principles and foundations of his academic field. Take a look. I kind of forget, but I actually have a question for you. You being an anthropologist, which anthropology is the study of human civilization, Human. So if you were to dig up a human, two humans, and a hundred years from now, both man and woman, could you tell the difference? 
Strictly off of bones. Yeah, because it's a wide range of... <laughs> So I love that clip for multiple reasons. And one of the reasons why is because it really does show you just how unserious academia has become. Like these so-called scientists, these so-called PhDs, they don't actually really adhere to the principles and foundations of what they study, right? What they're supposed to be experts in. What comes before uh, the science, what comes before what they've studied, what comes before the truth and reality is woke ideology right the woke agenda is much more important so this guy who clearly in my opinion is, is is woke uh he may be on board with you know the agenda right uh so it seems from his man mannerisms i don't really know uh, this guy is just straight up denying science and reality and then falling back on this title of phd well i'm a phd right i'm a phd so no matter how absurd my claim is, even though I know it's not true, right? Even though we know it's not true, uh, you have to believe me, right? Uh, I have more credibility than you. And it's like, bruh, again, I'm not an anthropologist, right? I'm not an expert. But what I do know is that men and women have different bone structures. Like, for example, a woman's hips are more suitable for passing children, okay? So she's going to have wider hip so that she can pass a child okay her hip structure is going to be different that's how you can tell the difference between a man and a woman when you are digging up bones and you're doing anthropological research you can tell the difference right there are multiple ways to test to see what the sex of that person was right uh what they're not going to be able to tell you is whether that person was transgender right was that person born in the wrong body they're not going to be able to tell you that but they will tell you what the biological sex was, okay? But again, if he actually said that, right, if he acknowledged that reality, it would go against his woke worldview, which apparently takes precedence, is much more important than what he actually studied, okay? And this is the thing that is so frustrating to me about where we're going with science and, and academia. These people, again, care more about the narrative. They care more about the woke agenda their woke religion than they do about the field that they spent decades studying, right? Again, it's the same problem with so-called journalists, okay? These people get so mad because people don't trust journalism anymore, but these people have discredited themselves because they would much rather go along with the narrative rather than to actually do real journalism and try to get to the bottom of things and try to get to the truth. OK, they'd rather be partisan hacks, OK, propagandists for the Democrat Party than to actually do real journalism. And if you do happen to do real journalism, like, for example, if you are a Barry Weiss or Matt Taibbi, you know, you, you don't even have to be like overtly left wing. You can be like left of center, right, like they are. But if you don't go all the way along with the Democrat Party agenda, particularly the uh, totalitarian and authoritarian portion of the Democrat agenda, then you get smeared, right? You're not a real journalist, right? You're not a real journalist. So again, th this is the type of stuff, man, it, it really does bother me when I see academics uh, putting their woke ideology over actual facts and reality. Because he knows damn well that, yeah, you, you can tell the difference, right? You can tell the difference based off bone structure uh, and other factors as well, too, when you're doing anthropology whether or not the person that you're looking at, the specimen that you're examining, was a male or female. He knows that, right? He knows that. But again, his woke worldview is much more important than his actual field of study.
Right? And again, these people are discrediting themselves. They wonder why people don't believe this stuff anymore. They wonder why people are skeptical of the science. Well, the reason why is because it's not science anymore. It's narrative. Right? It's narrative. People aren't skeptical of real science. They're skeptical of the narrative that's being peddled as science. Right? That's what's happening, man. And it really is a shame that this is the point that we've got to where, again, woke academics can't even acknowledge reality. You got a whole PhD and you don't know the difference between a man and a woman. What's the value of your PhD? <laughs> right? Your PhD is useless. Doesn't mean anything. Just means that you're brainwashed. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.